What is up everyone? I am back in our unboxing and review. Today I have for you all, as you guys can see in the background, that gives you a hint of what it is and you already see the title and something else. So today I have for you all the Autobot Ratchet Transformers the movie um, studio series Takarima Takara Tony um, action figure. That's a smaller figure though, but not the bigger one. But yeah, it's also more. I'm like, I gotta have it. I'm, uh, I'm like, I gotta start getting more Transformers. Because I've got many DC, Marvel, NECA, freaking Stranger Things, a whole bunch of stuff. And this is one of the one part where I haven't got hardly anything. So, this is the start of my collection. Yes, see over there, that's my collection for right now for Transformers. That's it. That's it. Um, you see all the little stuff in front? That's all heads and pieces of other figures that I used to have that either got rid of or I lost them. And then the only thing I kept were the freaking heads of them. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I think I got rid of them all. And I just kept the heads of them because they broke. And so I was like, you know what? If they're broken, you can go take the head off and keep that. And then this right here is the animated series ball my feet, foot, and leg. Which I feel like I saw them somewhere. Just don't. But yeah, that's basically my collection. I think I have Optimus Prime from McDonald's or Burger King a long time ago, and then Bumblebee. Um, he was a uh, cake decoration a long time ago. For my birthday when I was younger. So, yeah, I used to have a lot of Transformers. I had like animated series Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and then Megatron. Starscream, and then, what else, and then Ratchet, so, and the very first one, <laughs> the very first Transformers figure I had was Ratchet, and that thing was from the very first movie, Ratchet, well, the real movies, the IRL type movies that are made by, I don't remember the name, but, yeah. I had that ratchet, so I said, you know, let's restart the collection with the one I got before. Well, almost the same one, the same character, just the version. But this one is ratchet, and he's absolutely amazing. Let's see where I put my scissors in there. So I have some more. No idea. No idea. No absolute idea. Okay, I can get that. But anyways, yeah. So we'll go ahead and unbox him and then I'll be back with you guys and we'll wait off wait. Yeah. Alright, I'm back, he is unboxed. Alright, so first I want to show you guys the box and everything. I don't think I showed you guys the box to make it yet. He got him in transform mode and then vehicle mode or robot mode and then vehicle mode. And then you got all the information right there. And then title of the movie. And then up here you got a big picture of him, and a side picture of him. And right here it's a studio series and all that. Core class, and then... also says over here, Authentic Transformers, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is pretty cool when you pick up, you know, cheap kid rip. Dang it, dang it. That's why they, they, people box stuff up really tight, and it's like, come on. Yeah, and then you get this instruction manual, which helps you transform him into his van or whatever you can call it. Which I'll be using later, because I'm going to be doing that. <coughs> and then he comes with this background piece, which I'm probably use it for the background for the pictures and stuff. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. But yeah, uh, let's show you guys his accessories. So his accessories are these two little blasters, which look amazing for design. A little closer, they're kind of like little Lego blasters almost, but yeah, they're pretty cool. And then last but not least, here is Ratchet. This is the first Transformer I've had since I don't know how long, and he looks absolutely amazing. I can't remember his leg, but yeah, first Transformer I've had since. <laughs> For so long, you know what I mean? Yeah, 
I don't know, trying to transform it right now, but yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the close of them. Thing. Yeah, get really into that. Mm -hmm. There you go, his face. He's got like his chest here. It's like the front of the van. Uh, he's got two Autobot things on his arms that are kind of like medic. Uh, things on the back. You see, there's the front of the van. There's the lights. And then you got some red hands, and then there's his feet, you know. You can't really see in his feet, but you can at the same time. A little bit, a little bit wiggly, but overall pretty good. And then you got articulation, you know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this. Like that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. You know that one. Yeah, and then you can put the arm back, you can move. Move the head in, which you move. You can, you can move that out like that, and then you can put his head in. So if you're like transforming him, and it's gonna be a pain. Oh, that's actually not a real pain. And then back in his transformers mode. Yeah, and he's got like a bend in the knee, bend in the arm, you know. Don't think there's anything with his hands. Then you can take the pistols, you can put them in his hands. Probably not gonna put them in the right hand, that's alright. Yeah, you make him look like this. Look all cool, like he's ready to fight, you know? And then, yeah. Like that, almost. Prepared to fight or something. Yeah, honestly, he looks pretty awesome. Can't wait to get the actual like movie on um, Ratchet too, because he looks amazing like that too. But movie one looks good. Or this movie one looks good. <coughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Articulation is pretty much the same, you know. You got like two wheels over here, two wheels over there. Uh, oh, you can flop that up, so that'll probably help you when you transform. And looks like looks like they just make some double tires too. So when you put it in the vehicle mode, it'll look like that. And then you can probably, it's probably somewhere on there you can put the pistols or that little pistols on there somewhere on them. Oh yeah, look at that. Probably on the arms right there, you see those little things right there? I'll probably, actually maybe I'll do it now, a long video. Alright, so here he is, 
ratchet in um, vehicle form. It's kind of weird and interesting at times. So I was like, what? And then, what? And then, what? Where? What did I do? And then I finally figured it out. So, yeah, he's like a little Mimic fan. Looks awesome. And then, yeah, like I said, the pistols or whatever will go on the sides or go on there somewhere. And, yep, the sure fit too. Honestly, a really good figure. Looks really cool. Everything, you know. Little van, little hot wheel, and then he goes, he turns into a chicken car. Or, I don't know. So, yeah. Very proud of having this finally. Uh, finally having, like, a Miller Autobot or a Transformer after a while. It actually transforms and everything. The experience it again. But I'm going to be getting a whole bunch more. A whole lot more. Not a whole bunch of these smaller ones, but out of this. But a whole lot more just Transformers figures. There are probably be studio ones too. So, and then some other bigger ones, but yeah. You see, we got 360 everywhere for everything. Yeah, boom, and then bam, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. And the bottom there. Can't really see his head too much, like my movie. <laughs> but yeah, now we're gonna go do some 360, um, some photos, and yeah. So, without further ado, um, I'll be back. Just yeah. Transformers. Ratchet, Transformers, the movie, uh, studio series, uh, mini figure, I'd say, um, authentic Transformers figure, also might add, um, a boxing review, honestly, he's amazing, he looks good, you know, the transformation is really good, love that he comes with guns and all that, it's good and everything, good price for him, uh, and the background was really, was really cool with it too, I, lo I love the backgrounds that they do for the boxes but depending on the box if it's a really big box they're gonna put two in there so one that comes with the figure I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach it to there and then so you're gonna fall out of the box or nothing people can't see that too easily 
and then I want them behind it being the actual like background background they'll have holes in it and everything but overall amazing figure like I said I'm buying a lot more Transformers figures here soon mainly studio series and other ones that I can find from other companies that have a specific character but most of them are studio series or something else so yeah but first thing I'm buying is this big pack that has all five in it for the 15th anniversary of the first movie and that's going to be awesome because it comes with all of my characters and I don't have to worry about buying them all separate uh, because it's the, the Transformer that turns into a black truck, I forget his name um, that guy's expensive for just by himself for just a normal studio series figure it's like 300 bucks, I'm like no, nah, just buy this for 150 and get him plus four of the characters and right now it's on has repulse so I'm gonna get all those and then I'm gonna get extra characters that are by themselves not in that set like Hound, um, the ninja kinda samurai kinda guy, the green suited guy that kinda looks when he transforms he looks like a really nice car um and then some of the Decepticons like um, Megatron, Starscream, Soundwave right and then whatever other villains or Decepticons I would like to buy. Maybe some of the dinosaur characters, Transformers the movie. I love the movies. I love the I don't I don't I've never watched the original like Transformers movies and cartoons like that, but I've watched animated series, I've watched Prime, Transformers Prime, and then all the movies, all the um like IRL Transformers movies. Where they land on Earth and all that. So, yep, amazing figure, 10 out of 10, I would say, because it just, just looks really good. So, like I said, I'm going to be going through my, getting a bigger collection of figures. You guys see all that. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, of course, going to have another DC figure here soon. I'm not going to have a spoiler or nothing, but you guys will see him later. That's all I'm going to say. Him. But, yeah. Um, that'll be the next thing to, uh, that I'm going to review, and then after that, it's just Transformers for a little while. So like summertime or whenever I see a figure that's on sale that's or it's a figure that I want to get I said hmm, how about a little bit of Transformers and I'll go back to this because there are some Marvel Legends, some more DC, some Star Wars and I like a lot of Star Wars actually I want to buy a lot of Star Wars I'm going to fill my Star Wars shelf up even though it's already full but anyways hit the like button subscribe comment down below which figures would you guys like me to get and review I got a lot planned and I'm already buying, like I already have a freaking cart full on Amazon ready to go with like three of them, so, but first I'm going to buy that big pack and then I'm going to buy those three extra ones, and yeah, my favorite, my favorite one's going to be Hound when I get him, oh my god, it's so perfect, I, I love his character in the freaking movies, it's so funny, and he, basically me, if I was in Transformers universe, or any Transformers, <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, again, hit like button, subscribe, we're to, I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers, and that'd be very awesome if you guys could do that, and without further ado, I will catch you guys on Supper Trial, on a watch.